All right, my first guest tonight stars on the hit Fox series, That 70s Show. Please welcome Topher Grace to the program. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really excited to be on the show. I actually came to a taping a few times before uh, I was on 70s. And, How could uh, you get in? It's so hard to <laughs> make it. <laughs> Tickets are such a premium at this show. But we're all really big fans on oh, 70s. Oh, well, thank so. you very much. Well, you know, I love that show because I, you know, came of age in the 70s. And when did you graduate high school? I graduated, well, actually, I graduated high school in 1981. But right. you know, I I gra you know I was through the '70s. That's the music that I was listening to. The '80s music was crap. <laughs> it was bad. Uh, but um, but the '70s had so much great music, so much great culture. But you're yeah. I mean you're a lot younger than me. I'm in my late '50s. What are you? You're I'm uh, I just turned 23 this summer. Oh, all right. There you go. You're a young whippersnapper. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 23. Uh, but you're right, the music, we hear that from people all the time. Uh, you know, oh, I had that lighter and I had that. But the thing that's a little annoying sometimes is uh, uh, recently I went into uh, a music store like Tower Records mm -hmm. and I was like, hey, do you guys have, because there's a lot of good music from the 70s. Like you yes, said, there A's is. kind of crap. ABBA. Um, <laughs> to, just to name one. Yeah, yeah right. So uh, we, I went into this uh, music store and I was like, hey, do you guys have a, a 70s section? And the guy goes, because. You're that guy <laughs> from the right. '70s show. Yeah. <laughs> right. Did he really hold it that yeah. long before he spoke? Yeah. No, no longer. He I know that guy. Him. I've seen him around. Yeah. Uh, He's so the guy when you're like, uh, do you have the late night uh, music section? He's like, He's like because <laughs> you're, that, you're that guy from yeah. the. I know him. Did uh, did we should take this on the road? Hey, this is like right. Mumenschanz, <laughs> dance and theater. Um, you did. <laughs> What I'm curious about is, do you, I mean, do you really know that stuff that well, or you know, you're just educating yourself? You're just getting, get, you're, you're starting to learn the 70s by doing this show, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd seen, uh, you know, uh, a lot of my favorite films are from the 70s. It's such a great right. time for film. And uh, Boogie Nights came out right before, which is one of my favorite films. Right, yeah, right. Boogie right. Nights, that's great right. movie. But um, One guy up there is happy about Boogie Nights. <laughs> oh, my God, it's Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg sitting in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for trying. He's, He's waving the prosthetic penis. Look! <laughs> it's me, Mark Wahlberg. Did, um... Oh, that was wrong. Uh, <laughs> now, how do you keep a show like that? The show's been on for a couple of years. I enjoy it. I think it's really funny. You have good writing. How do you keep it sharp? How do you Thanks. keep yeah, that show current? Yeah, this is our fourth, uh, our fourth season. And, uh, but, the, you know, we get new writers. We actually, as you know, I think, we got uh, three writers from your show, actually three writers who are from Late Night uh, with Conan O'Brien on yeah. our show, and they're really great. And you know, you just have they been making a difference? Have they been giving you uh, an um, edge or anything? Yeah, no, it's definitely. I mean, it changes all the time and it evolves, and it's definitely more. Uh, it's a little uh, edgier. And actually, the 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 clip I brought tonight is actually from uh, our first episode back, which with, is with these new writers. Yeah, which is by these new writers that are from your show. Let's take a look at this uh, clip uh, from the '70s show. This is going to really help their show. Let's take a look. Hey, former. Didn't Donna look good last night? Yeah, she looked really good. For me to poop on. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna do wonders for you. I'm not, honestly, I'm not really sure where, uh, we're, where we're going with that. Yeah, right. Um, it's, there's an, yeah. We're not, no, actually, probably we, not a good idea. Yeah, to really run with that. We shot that like last week, and I and I, uh, I pitched it to some of the writers, and all the writers under forty were like, "Oh my God, do it!" And all the writers over forty were like, "What?" Are you, I go to bed at <laughs> ten. That's, you know, yeah, what that's are you pretty much about? when you I walk around. Something? That's pretty much the reactions I get. <laughs> like people under like thirty-eight are like, "Oh yeah, there's that guy," and everyone else, <laughs> nothing. You know, they think I'm sort of a well-preserved Ted Koppel. <laughs> Um, now, uh, but you're having a good time. I, it, it's interesting, you've had, you're 23, and I don't mean to harp on this or embarrass you or humiliate you in any other way, but you, you did this, this is your first show that you've done, big mm -hmm. success. You were in one movie, Traffic, which was a big success and which, you know, got a lot of Oscar nominations. Right. So you're having success very quickly. You're, you're, it's going, going really in, well for you. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not really My sure point what the question is, is actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting there. Okay, okay. My point is that you've had more success than me, and it's not fair. No, okay. <laughs> no you gotta. You should give me 40% of your success. Who here wants to see Conan come on an episode of 70 Show? Because I know I do. <laughs> Seriously, it's totally inviting. I'd be great. Would you come on? Sure. You'd have to do a wig and the whole, you know. I have to wear a wig. <laughs> yeah, we all—it's really sad. We all have to grow. We hate it. All—if you look at all the guys, we all have to grow our hair out uh, like this, and and they poof it up, and it's really annoying. I love annoying. having poofed out hair. <laughs> I've made a right. career of having poofed out right. hair. I wouldn't have to touch my hair. I could come on. Did uh, when when traffic was getting all the you know all the accolades and uh, Academy Award nominations? Did you actually? Did you go to the Academy Awards? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. I I went to the Golden Globes, but I. Uh, you know, you have to kind of be nominated to, and I wasn't, uh... You weren't nominated. nominated. But I, I just I, wanted to stress that you weren't, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. But I actually, the, the, I went to the Academy Awards four years ago. I went to USC for a year before I started the show, and USC is right... It's across the street. It's across the street from the shrine where they hold it, and the security, the week of the Academy Awards, is, like, mega tight. Like, you can't go within five blocks of the shrine. And me and my friends had, I was actually already cast in the show, but it hadn't started filming. So I was like, guys, I have the greatest idea. We've got to, like, as a Trojan horse, get in a limo, put on tuxedos, and just cruise right in. Because I'm sure that's like the camouflage to, like, just uh, get into the shrine. So we... So you had no invitations, no way to get past... No, that's right. I was a freshman in college. We hadn't even... Yeah, it was... Uh... <laughs> but what we figured was, if we're caught and put in jail, it's really no worse than the dorm, you know, it's actually better, probably. <laughs> so... What well, happened I'm... to my chair? <laughs> no, stay down. What the hell was that? <laughs> that is the craziest thing we got this new set, like on... Oh, yeah, that's this is our new set, and they put this new chair in here, and it just completely deflated. This is so weird. We should keep the camera the same for the rest of the show. And I should just sit like this. This is so great. It has like a lever or something. This is, oh look, it goes up. You know what I should do is anytime oh, no. something sad happens to me. <laughs> And, and you could do a little uh, horn, womp, 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 womp. Just say, I'm sorry, Conan, I never see your show. Um, I'm sorry, Conan, I never see your show. <laughs> that would work great, don't you think? I was There's an interview in here somewhere, and I'm bound right. to find it now. Well, anyway, we, we got into the Academy Awards, so uh, yeah. we actually we drove up in this limo, and we were really nervous because we thought we were going to get caught, and we and we hopped out of the limo and went like this real quick and waved to, you know, this huge crowd of people, and they all went woo, and then we just <laughs> ran in. That's so sad because that means anyone who's gotten a woo when they waved at the crowd now realizes it's yeah, meaningless. Yeah, it wasn't for that. <laughs> yeah. right. That's, that's like crazy. when I came out here and they're like, 70, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just that no one knew who you were at the time. That's no, so great. No. And, uh, and we sat in like the, the ninth row. I was, I was right behind Cher that year. It was the James Cameron speech and the uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon one. And uh, I, we actually wanted to check a tape, but we didn't have time. Because I'm probably, I'm out there. Because, um, you know, they only have like eight rows of celebrities. And then everyone else is just a seat filler. People it's don't very know that, that, yeah. that, that watch these shows, but pretty much everyone you see in the audience is an actor who they put a tuxedo or a dress on and they yeah. sit there. Because the celebrity is like, they get their award and then they get on their submarine and leave. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I uh, wish I had the to do was walk up with like when they announced the best editor or something. <laughs> Join him and go up. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. We did it. And the real guy who won best editing would be, uh, would be sitting there and like, I'm gonna have you back when I get the chair fixed. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the season premiere of That 70s Show airs Tuesday, September 18th at 8 o'clock p.m. on Fox. And I do mean it. I, I, 
uh, there's a lot of stuff out there, but your show is really one of the funny ones. It's a oh, really good one. So thanks, thanks for lot, being man. here. Take really good to meet you too. Topher Grace, thanks for being here. Mike Binder coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.